Once, uh, <laughs> that was quite an interesting story, which is also in, in a book, but once you uh, decline uh, a role in situation comedy, I think it was called J, by simple <laughs> sent sentence, it's not a mesh. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I, I had seen, I was under, at the time I was under contract at Universal Studio. Um, I had done a television series there for a year with uh, Anthony Quinn, the yeah. uh, now passed away, uh, wonderful, wonderful actor, big star. So I was thrilled with the opportunity to work with him, but it involved being under contract to the studio. Even when the show stopped being there, I was still under contract, which was a bit of a, a source of some uh, discomfort <laughs> at times. But, you know, a studio, they, they're paying you and they want you to work. So they want me to do these, some of their shows and some of their shows were just terrible. And I didn't want to do them. So we had our little series of disagreements. Um, but one of them was not particularly a disagreement. It was just, it was a very flattering thing. Um, uh, in the meantime, I had seen MASH. Uh, it started in the 71 when I was under contract doing that other show. And um, I had uh, by accident seen an episode of it and I was very impressed with the work they did. And very impressed with the fact that the show was in my mind about something. There was a, there was a, a thesis to it that was very powerful. And so I'm back at the studio. The series I was doing is over. I did some other work there, a movie and some things. And this man contacted me and he said he'd like me to do his, uh, uh, the lead in his television series. And I said, yeah, that's very flattering. Thank you. Um, I'd like to read it. <clears throat> so he gave me the script, <clears throat> excuse me. And it was um, silly. Um, I just, I, you know, there's a lot on television that is really just dumb. Well, <coughs> sorry, um, in my estimation, not the kind of thing I wanted to spend my time doing. So I said, no, thank you. And he was very um, surprised because I'm turning down the lead in a television series. And he thought that was, you know, quite a good thing to offer, which under most circumstances it is. But I, I just didn't want to be part of that show. And I didn't want to say, I think your show is dumb. And I didn't want to say, I think it's corny. Um, so I said, he said, why? Why do you not want to do it? And I said, well, it's not MASH. And, and what I meant by that was, it's not about anything. It's a show that has no soul, no heart, no, nothing about the human condition. And. Uh, and it was funny because a year later, I got a call from my agent about the fact that Wayne Rogers was leaving MASH and, uh, or maybe might have been leaving MASH. And they wanted to know if I'd come over and have a meeting and talk about the possibility of uh, filling in that character. And I said, could I, can I, I'm <laughs> under contract here? And he said, well, there's no harm in going and talking to them. <clears throat> and. Uh, I'll, I'll never forget it. You know, I had this wonderful meeting with these people who were doing this show that I so admired. And uh, I was nervous as a cat. <laughs> I was scared to death that I'd be an idiot instead of, you know, being the charming fellow I wanted to be. And uh, they were just as warm and friendly and comfortable and generous as they could be. And uh, I remember the conversation, I said, the one thing I don't want to do, I don't know if you hear that, but there's a helicopter going over. Not, not much. It's... Radar would say choppers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, the one thing I wouldn't be interested in doing is stepping into the boots of Trapper John, playing the character, the same character that Wayne Rogers had played, which people had tried to do in the past in other television shows, not very successfully. And I said, uh, that didn't make sense to me. And they said, oh, no, 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 no. We, we, of course, we wouldn't do that. They said, uh, we're in the military. And in the military, people transfer away, people get moved, people die, different things happen. 
So we would want he, he, the character that we're talking about bringing in, if Wayne, if Wayne Rogers leaves, and we don't know if he's going to leave or not, and we hope he doesn't, but if he does, we're going to have to create a new character. And then they, they, they said, we know, all we know about him is he's uh, um, married, and he has a child at home, and he intends to be faithful to his wife. He's not going to be a womanizer like Hawkeye and Trevor were, are. And I said, they, they, how, they said, how does that feel? And I said, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about a guy who's going to be the a model of fidelity on, on national <laughs> television i think that'd be fabulous so uh yeah, then i went away not knowing if wayne rogers was going to come back or go away and turned out he went away and i got very lucky and got the role 